The iPad mini is here. But the run on the iPad mini was very mixed. According to initial reports, the small iPad was sold out quickly in Asia, while the queues at Apple stores in Europe and the United States were more manageable. Apple said that they sold more than 3 million iPads in total during the start weekend of the iPad mini. Apple didn't tell any specific numbers only for the iPad mini. However, my friend and colleague Julian was one of the first to buy one of Apple's new 7.9 inch tablets. He even sold his iPad 3 because of the better mobility of the iPad mini. After a short time with the iPad mini you realize you easily get used to the compact dimensions and the lightweight of the tablet. Also striking is the very high build quality of the iPad mini. Nothing crunches, nothing cracks and compared to the big brother the side keys for volume control, for switching to standby and the mute switch are not made of plastic but solid aluminium. Also the almost seamless transition from the edge of the screen to the aluminium case is eye candy. The trained eye recognizes of course that the display of the iPad mini only has half of the resolution than the display of the iPad 3 or the iPad 4. In everyday life, while playing, viewing photos or movies, you don't recognize that. In contrast, the display of the iPad mini features very high contrast and great colors. If text comes into play, one can see the differences to the retina displays of the iPad 3 or 4 but only in comparison. In many apps such as iBooks and various news apps, you can also set the font slightly larger, which is good for the readability. Compared to the iPad 1 or iPad 2, the display of the iPad mini is better. The iPad mini is powered by the A5 chipset, which we already know from the iPad 2. This is not as fast as the processors in the iPad 4, but it does not feel short in everyday life. Games, videos, photos, surfing, everything goes smoothly and without any noticeable delay. In direct comparison with the iPad 3, you can even find that the rotation of the screen on the iPad mini is a little faster. Even graphics intensive titles like Need for Speed Most Wanted or Infinity Blade don't cause any problems. Conclusion. The strengths of the iPad mini are clearly in the compact dimensions and the light weight. You can hold the iPad mini in one hand and still use it wonderfully in a bus or train. For the pockets of a sports jacket however, the iPad mini is a little too wide. In terms of speed, you don't recognize a lack compared to the iPad 4 in everyday use. That means the iPad mini is perfect for traveling. but you still have a fully fledged iPad in front of you, including support for more than 275,000 optimized apps. Power users who use their iPads for video editing as well as rely on an ultra sharp display should however consider to buy the iPad 4. Also those of you who only use their tablets mostly at home sitting on the sofa should consider to buy an iPad 4. Weight and size is not that important at home. If you use your iPad on travels, the iPad mini is just right for you. But will Apple be successful with the high quality iPad mini against their cheaper arrivals from Google and Amazon? What do you think? <laughs>